Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the Ice Cloud 227 stream, and I hope you are all doing well this fine day. I am doing good, just continuing with my Star Wars Jedi Survivor playthrough. Again, if you're watching on Twitch, do give me a follow, do drop in and say hello, it's all Ice Cloud 227. If you are watching on YouTube, then hope you're enjoying this every Saturday. Do do any likes or subscribes that you wish you want to do. Leave a comment or just have a go. Do whatever makes you feel better. <laughs> But yeah, not quite a triple jump, but I'll take it. <laughs> not bad. Maybe you can keep up with me now. Let's find out. What's the Empire up to? They're at the temple entrance, waiting for something. We still got time. Still in there. Let's split up. I will distract that monstrosity. Be careful. I'll see you inside. Murph will distract the Empire. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Okay. There is something down there that I'm missing. I could have got. No, no, no. Seems pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, I'll just have to sort that out on the round, but... Oops. Actually... New meditation point. Well, no, same meditation point, but let's do a refresh of my... Stances. Baby stunts. Oh, wait, no, get rid of that. One and two, okay. Getting ready to go, go, go. Right, bring my Twitch back up. The winds are with us now. Yeah, you. Will 
Okay. I mean, I'm thinking I have to go down because I can't make that gap, but let's test the length that it goes to. One, two, dash. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. I have to do it from the other side. Drill will take time to set up. Hope Marin can slow them down. Conquer your fear of heights. Where did you come from? You're supposed to use your jetpack. <laughs> How you doing, BD? Having fun back there? That was the wrong thing to do. Temperance.
Can't be in case you fall. There's no treasure here. Why? Okay. I see. So you come back with a flip and... Okay. That makes more sense. Incredible. But that won't stop the Empire from reducing it to rubble. This is a good find. Squeeze through that door. Just make sure there's nothing else about here. Okay. Gotta hurry. Brother Armias can't hide forever. You know what to do. Sanctuary to all who seek it. Sounds too good to be true. Destination and the beginning. Upon crossing the temple threshold, travelers are invited to meditate upon their pilgrimage before embarking on their, upon their next journey. Big hole in the wall. I'll take that. <laughs> Pilgrim Sanctuary should prove a worthy location for the safe house. Its proximity to the archive is ideal. And with a bit of your slicing, this temple could once again provide safe haven for those who need it most. 
Decades ago, Pilgrim Sanctuary was a refuge for those seeking safe harbor. Now, Surrey, Junda, and Enno Cordova have repurposed the space to provide a new sanctuary for associates of the Hidden Path. Rolling my stances. Four and four. Cool. Blaster pistol. Cross guard. Place won't hold long. Oh yeah, that could get me into the other area on the other thing. I remember. I remember where I could get that. So do I not get jetpack boots? Pilgrim Sanctuary has some new caretakers. That sentry droid could be trouble. earned okay well let's take care of the rocket trooper first I guess let's see what else we can hide out Oh. 
two of you. Oh, more than two of you. <laughs> Alright, let's figure this out. No idea what's under their noses, but they'll find the safe house eventually. Let's keep moving. Okay. Gotta open up that green shield soon. Yeah, it tends to reroll anyway. Nine. Ooh, a white saber. What we got? Diligence. Harmony. Okay. Ah, right, we'll keep that like that. Ooh. Ah, jar to pause just seems better. Oh. We wanted to switch, didn't we? No, 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 hers is just better. Yeah, no, no, it will make no difference. No changes apart from blade color, which is nine. Which is, I did click the white saber, right? Yep, white saber. Which looks more generally than anything else. Well, in this light, anyway. This has been here for a long time. We'll get you special power soon, BD. I assume it's a BD special power, it's not something that Cal will seem to have in his pocket. Right. Yeah, it's just a good blaster tap, I like it. That just circles around there. And then we come back this way. Huh. When the rats are running away from something, you know it's kind of fuckery. <laughs> nope, see nothing shiny. Sign of the path safe house yet. <laughs> okay, well, round this way. Is it? No. Why not climb on top?
I am led to believe that there is a vast network of subterranean waterways beneath the temple. Perfect. That should give our operation cover from Imperial scanners. Some Jedi temples used ancient and intricate aqueducts to draw water from subterranean springs. This place was ancient. Must be a stem bud. Oh. Rings over. Here's one of the Sephiroth's dropship machines. Oh, no, that's how you do the dash forward square, it just goes down. Starting to think we're in the right place. What do you think? Great find. Okay. Anything behind this one? No. Then what's the... 
purpose in motion. Oh, I see. So your breaks, so I need to pull you. Pull you. One, two, three. Makes sense. There we go, break down there. Okay, getting closer. Find something? Hidden path exposed. In an abrupt evacuation, all manner of personal belongings were left behind. A tableau of the lives that were lived before. There was a scramble to evacuate. The temple refugees were evacuated so suddenly it's a miracle that any of them made them out, any of them made it out alive. Quickly, everyone, this way. Hurry. Are you coming with us? I must remain here a little longer. Go now, there is no time. I will seal the passage behind you. May the Force be with you all. Noble deed, Brother Armour shepherds a group of refugees through the perilous path. In an act of noble sacrifice, he sends them ahead to ensure the Empire will not follow. Easy now. See your Janda Semi. Master Junda, you use the force, you're Cal Kestis. It's time to go. The Empire's closing in. Yes, which is why this must make it back to Master Junda. These contact codes cannot fall into the hands of the Empire. Look out!
Press circle to dash through the green laser gates. Hold on, Meryl's charm. Using Meryl's magic charm, press circle to dash through the green laser fields. I'm sorry, excuse me. Meryl's magic charm. Okay. <laughs> I am wrong about everything in this game. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I thought BD was going to get me through the gate. I thought I was going to get rocket rocket jump instead of like a triple jump dash. Oh, God. Wow. All right. You know what? The main bad guy is actually a good guy. <laughs> Didn't bleed his crystal at all. It was just good doing it for like. <laughs> for aesthetic purposes. Alright, an artifact from Dathomir constructed by someone with knowledge of the Force. A charm's creator is unknown. When utilized in conjunction with a Jedi's improved agility, it grants the wearer to briefly channel Night the magic and pass through otherwise. the otherwise impassable. Buried refuge. Skills. Skill, can we get up? What's this one? Greater reflections. Go for it. Alright, let's re-roll our um, stats and see what we get. Five and three. It is our duty to make sure his death met. Let's get these codes to see her. Bring the contact codes to see her. Having secured the hidden path codes, Cal and Mern return to Seer's base. This thing's attention. Dash. Oh, okay. With those, I get the double dash as well. Close. I'm impressed. All right. Uh, okay. Thank you for the hint. Passing through barriers, recess. Jedi dash, force dash, and Jedi kick. Ish. La. La. Whew. Only just made that one. <laughs> Back in. Then let's hurry. Made it. We should 
not take Pilgrim's path to Sears base. There's another route. There's a lot of patrols. We can manage. <laughs> I was so eager to drop kick that guy. I didn't know I wanted it until it was taken away from me. <laughs> Careful, there is danger nearby. Hope you are ready. I'm not doing all the work. I'm gonna shoot him. Okay, okay, we can do this. Stay back. Just. Go. Force essence acquired. All right, let's switch our lightsaber colors then. Seven. shouldn't stay here long. Desert ghost. Enemies up ahead. Hold on. Good, I didn't mean to press stem there. Oh, I deserve that. The Empire had no idea what they were about to find. Good. They must never learn that the path was here. I'm with you, Cal. Time to explain. Do you trust me? Yes. Was that for luck? No. Hurry.
got this, buddy! Woo! No kidding. This thing's gotta have a weakness. How did you do that? A ritual I learned when I returned to Dathomir. It is taxing. You okay? I am fine. Whew. Come on. Let's get these coats to see her. Trust. When facing down an imperial assault, Merrin and Cal share a brief but meaningful kiss. She asks him to trust her, and with the imperial attack behind them, it's clear that their relationship is taking a new direction. Oh, we got to on trust. Okay. Cornered by relentless Imperial weapon, uh, Merrin kisses Cal and asks him to trust her. They escape with their lives, but now their relationship has started down a new path. The Force is with me. Let's go. I'm with you. Uh, let's just have a look, make sure there's nothing that's left behind, treasure-wise. Hello? Any treasure? No? Cool. And I was really surprised that getting through the portals is Dathomirian magic. And nothing to do with... Marin will remain in the desert. There's no treasure here. Okay. Let's finish up our story mission. And then we'll head back here in the next stream to do any side stuff. Basically, we go through it all and do everywhere that the, the triple jump wants me to get. Oh, speaking of that, there's a triple jump place here. Dash. Marin will remain in the desert.
Kill point acquired. Sound. Sort all that out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Find me in the archive. Here. Oh, workbench. No, we'll keep with the indigo for now. You mentioned the golden scryton. Anything else I should keep an eye out for? Should you venture into the murkier regions of the highlands, you could find yourself in the lair of a Sutabon Alpha, a vile thing. You would be wise to keep your distance. And in case I don't? How very Jedi of you. In that case, I would warn that the beast is quick and ferocious. More so on both counts than its lesser brethren. Good to know. I'm sorry about Brother Armaius. Do not apologize. He has become part of a greater whole. Did you know him well? Yes. Like me, he was one of the named few. A free thinker as well. You might say we shared a rebellious streak. I wish I could have done something. We have a saying for such times. Ever it passes. Carry it with you. I will. Found anything of interest? A priceless curio. And in good condition. Oh, we've got all of those. So, yeah. Uh, no, not that. Looks good to me. Really matter, that was fated for you. Yes, that suits you, noble one. This one. Thank you. The knowledge you've saved is invaluable. This will be useful. The wisdom you've recovered is a boon to us all. Have you always been with the Anchorites? My parents were not Narcus, nor were they native to Jeddah. But I was born here. After my birth, they left me at an orphanage. They never returned. Fate and the vicissitudes of life brought me to join the Narcus Anchorites. Have you ever left Jeddah? Hmm. I visited countless libraries and transcribed many an ancient text. But, just as importantly, I know the thrill of hyperspace and have watched the sun set on a dozen worlds. So the Anchorites seek wisdom through experience, not just study. 
It is a fool indeed who believes themselves wise when their world ends at the front door. I think Seer and my first master would agree with you there. Did you hear of Armaius's fate? Sister Task informed me. He fulfilled his mission. We could ask no more of a brother. Indeed. Ever it passes, sister. Ever it passes. Droid. Try not to get Kyle in too much trouble. Seer. I couldn't save Armias. He gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. Glad you made it back in one piece. Master Kudova, did you find a way across the abyss? No, but you may have, Cal. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Centuries ago, the Republic established the colony on Kobol to study a stellar anomaly known as the abyss. Santari Kree led the research team. That sea with them. Early attempts to navigate the abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Using the data from his voyage, Kree invented the abyss compass to guide others safely to Tenel. The Republic established a settlement. The Jedi built a temple. Just like you said, Cal. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted when Outer Rim Marauders invaded. I saw them too, but how'd they get across the abyss? They must have stolen a compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tanalor, and the Jedi Council ordered Creed to destroy the compass. Dagangara refused and rebelled against the Order. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Looks like Ravis has been working with Dagon for a lot longer than we thought. So the Order sent Jedi to secure the compasses. Dagon murders them over it. Jedi killing other Jedi. But Centauri said that Dagon was the key to Tantalor. Maybe he is young Jedi. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, Records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes, and Dagon sent his army to look for it. <laughs> I'd ask you to stay and help us, but... I recognize that look. Well, look. Hope. That planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. So you coming with us? I mean, Grease can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. The hidden path needs me. Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. But for now, my place is on Jeddah with Seer. Let me prepare a data stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... ...unique. Survivors... ...fighting together against the Empire who took our families. Yeah... ...you helped me realize I wasn't alone. As did you. But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as Seer said. Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps... ...if we can get to it. I will join you. Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. See you back in the Mantis night, sister.
search for the compass from Kobo. Back to Kobo. <laughs> Alright, the fall of Dagan Jera. When the Jedi Council ordered Tandalor and Kobo abandoned, Dagan Jera could not accept it. Despite Centauri's protestations, he defies the Council. 200 years later, his hatred for the Order reached its conclusion as he bled his lightsaber and swore himself an enemy of the Jedi. A device invented by Centauri Q to navigate the Kobo Abyss, the compass uses the coordinates obtained during Dagon Jera's uncharted flight to Tenelor. The Jedi Council ordered all of his compasses destroyed with the Nihil after the Nihil raided Tenelor, believing they must have stolen one in order to cross the Abyss. Loyalty. Although Ciri recognizes the potential of Inkal's quest to find Tanalor, she decides to remain in Jeddah in order to oversee the Archive and protect the loyal anchorites who serve her. Jedi Researcher Cordova, an astute researcher, helps the group unravel the mystery of Tanalor and pathway through the Koho Abyss. Abyssal Compass Bode and Master Cordova were eager to share their findings, and Tarek here created a special compass to navigate the Kobo Abyss, allowing the Jedi of the High Republic to establish an outpost temple on Tanalor. However, the temple was somehow invaded by Nihil, attackers forcing the Jedi to fall back. In the aftermath, the Jedi Council ordered Kira to destroy the remaining devices, but according to Master Cordova, one compass remained unaccounted for. Finding it would grant them passage through the Abyss, Marin seeing the potential of uh, Tanalor as a safe haven for uh, Hidden Path refugees, joins the crew as they resolve to find the final compass. And then the Nihil! The Nihil, a faction of elusive and powerful marauders, emerged as one of the greatest threats during the High Republic era. Able to navigate hyperspace in ways others could not, they caused mayhem across the Republic's fragile frontier, even launching a surprise attack on Tanalor. In the face of this unique enemy, the Jedi Council order a retreat from Tanalor and the destruction of all the ways reaching it, choosing instead to focus their resources on repelling the Nihil threat for good. Alright, brilliant. Guys, I'm going to take a break. Thanks very much for watching. Do you do any likes, follows, comments, and subscribes that you may wish them to do, and I'll catch you in the next one.